Hey guys, this is Sissy Knitting, and I am working on my corner to corner blanket right now. This is for Hooks and Needles podcast, and today we're going to be talking about trying new projects, and see, trying new projects, setting goals, facing fears. Um, a good support system, looking back at patterns, and rivalry. So, let's go ahead and start to begin. Four, hang on, i got to count. Five, six, okay. Trying new projects. When you get onto a pattern site and you see a pattern you want to try but you've never tried before, do you try the pattern? Do you save it for later or you just bypass it? Say, oh, my skill level is not ready yet. Or do you try it? I'm going to say, oh, well, if I fail, I fail. If I do good, I do good. It's the first time I tried a pattern. Okay. Goals. Do you have goals for the year or for the month of what you want to try for 2014? What do you want to learn? Do you have a theme or anything like that? Me, for 2014... I want to try a lot of projects that I've never done before. Leaning away from scarves, hats. Leaning away from scarves and hats. I'm tired of scarves and hats. So far, I have completed a shawl and a blanket. So, I've got two that I've did. I've done dishcloths. I've never done dishcloths before. And... I've done them. I'm kind of burned out on them right now. That's why I've not been knitting so many of them. I'm kind of burned out. And. Okay. Facing fears. When facing fears. When trying a new project. How do you overcome it? Because before when I would get on the rivalry. I'd save them. Oh I'll do this someday. I'll do this someday. Um. Okay, like I said, I'll do this someday, I would do that, and just save them and never do them. Well, now, I'm trying to face my fears, even if it is a harder level pattern to try. Oh, my nose, sorry. Okay. Support group. There are so many different types of um, of support groups, whether it be on rivalry, um, I'm losing a stitch, hang on, rivalry, Facebook, Google Plus, where else is there, Instagram, um, there's so many different places and stuff. Do you feel comfortable getting on there asking for help? I used not to be, but now I am. So it doesn't bother me half as bad. Because if I'm having a problem, I'd rather ask questions, figure out what I'm doing wrong to get something out that I've done. For one, you've never done it before, and two, you got to learn. So... That's the way I feel about it. Let's see. Have you tried doing, let's see, cows or crochet and knit alongs with a group? Um, right now, I am in a group that we're doing a cow for the corner to corner blanket. 
I'll leave the link down below if y'all want to join that group. It is it is called a uh, K A L and C A L addictions. If you want to look it up on Facebook. But it's a really nice set of group of people. If you got questions, you can go in and ask. They help you during the um, how long and stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, and then looking back at the pattern, if you don't get that, I'm going to get you. It's my cat. Looking back at the pattern that you were scared of, or tutorial, Does it now seem kind of like, oh, this was simple. Why was I scared of it before? That's kind of silly. I have done that. I've done that with the uh, granny square. Because all you're doing is increasing and changing color. Very easy. Um, the shawl. Once I got a hold of it, had no problem. And after doing the shawl, this seemed easy. And stuff. So, I was happy I did the shawl first because it made me understand <clears throat> how to turn on the corner to corner a whole lot better. I'm going to take a sip. And um, it's helped me to understand a triangle or piece. So, yes, I have looked back and say, oh, well, this wasn't that bad. Why was I scared of it? And like that dish cloth, it was so simple. I just had to have the right tutorial and pattern. So easy. And rivalry. I'm going to have to cut this short. Uh, rivalry has different types of um, where you can stash your projects, your patterns, and stuff like that. And... Do you keep track on rivalry or do you do Excel? Um, me, I do Excel and rivalry of how much I've gotten done this year and how much I want to do, what projects I want to do, how much I've got to spend for my stash to do the project if I don't have it in my stash. Stuff like that. I'm starting to do that because starting next month, I get my own budget for projects. And I get it for uh, once a month that I want to do. Or is it once every two weeks? I think it's once every two weeks. Or it might be once a month. I don't know. Anyways, all I know is I'm getting a budget. And I'm excited. And I can balance it out of if I want to do a small project. Little small projects over the month. Or if I want to do one big project for the month. I like it. And it helps me to balance what I'm doing and stuff. So, very happy with it. And I'm going to go ahead and get off here because every girl's getting sleepy. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm sorry this was a short hooks and needles podcast. But, hey, you just got to go with the flow. Bye, guys.